Ready to jump. They're off. Treat me like a lady and last side bounce well. Pinch River goes forward with Vienna Royale and Diamond Fund about fifth away. Then Denari is followed by Rose Day getting back. Voodoo Blue Magic, Headwater Country and Friendly Dragon is last of all. Pinch River goes forward, leads Vienna Royale. Treat me like a lady is going to get a gun run in third. And similarly, Auburn's got last side in fourth spot. A length away, Denarius, Diamond Fun, midfield and deep. A length behind that pair, Rosene. Two to Voodoo Blue Magic, one Headwater Country. A length and a half, Friendly Dragon whips them in. Short of 600 metres left to go. 35-17, the first 600 metres. Pinch River runs it at a strong gallop. Leads Vienna Royale, treat me like a lady. He's easing out on last side. Diamond Fun wider, Denarius behind them. Then Rosene, Headwater Country. In the straight, 300 left to run. And Pinch River, he's low fly. Pinch River led by two from Treat Me Like a Lady, Vienna Royale. Last side needs to get a move on. Then Denarius, 100 left to run. Pinch River, home and hosed. Straight to the line. Pinch River. Treat Me Like a Lady second. Third over the line last side. Then Vienna Royale, Denarius. Voodoo Blue Magic, Rosnay. Well back Diamond Fun, Headwater Country. And Friendly Dragon whipped them in in a great gallop. 1867. Pinch River the winner. Pinch River. Uh, good to see that uh, Byrne chanced his arm at the start. He jumped well the other day and then grabbed hold. But today went forward, got the lead, made his own luck. And he's run 18.67, which is a new class record and beats a previous class record that has stood for at least 10 years. So he's beaten a decade-old class record and he's done it from start to finish. And that stamps him a well above average galloper, as he's always been considered. But I'd say that's a career best today. 2.574 the result. Pinch River Jim Byrne, treat me like a lady Michael Carl. And last side Jimmy Orman. And four was fourth Vienna Royale. Two, five, seven, four, one, eight, six, seven. Class record and a trading double to Rob Heathcote. Let's go to the enclosure. His bar after race six. Yes, Dave, with Rob Heathcote. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah but he's, uh, he's always had a bit of wow factor about him. And once again, I said it a couple of weeks ago when I was interviewed, full credit to Neil and Angie, the owners. They, they were patient during the carnival. We didn't have any luck, and I suggested we give him a break. I said confidence to a horse is everything. I think you've got a group horse in the making here, and I think today probably showed that, and Frank, the confidence I have, and they enabled me to give him a spell, and he's come back super. Very bold tactics today. There was a bit of speed there, but he cleared them. He had to do a bit of work. He did, but look, I left it up to Jimmy. Uh, I had confidence in Jimmy making the right call, and once he committed, he went forward, and he gave him a lovely breather, and I think that was the difference, and uh, I believe he's run a bit of time today, so no, he's got a nice future, but... There were initially plans to go to Melbourne with the horse. We've shelved them. Uh, he's a Magic Millions horse, and we're going to focus and concentrate on the Magic Millions. Will you just have a few more runs now and then a little break? Yeah, certainly, Bart. You know, a couple of... Let's take him through to Open Company. I think he'll go to Open Company with a bullet, and uh, if he can win a couple of those, I can give him a little freshen before the Magic Millions Cup. Happy days are here. Thanks, Bart. Good on you, Rob Heathcote. Uh, gee, that was startling, David. Yeah, certainly the time, Bart, is the... Uh Underlines the merit of the performance, 1867, because as we said, that record held by Son of Dane has been held for over 10 years. But as we outlined, he, he jumped well the other day and then, then Jimmy elected to grab hold, but he showed his versatility by jumping just as well today and then spearing forward. The margin was four lengths when the judge called a hold, four lengths. So, as I said, uh, I think certainly a career best performance. Race seven. Program Property Services Handicap at 357. Scratchings here are numbers 7 and 10. And 
six Ken Pelly as Lani Fancourt. Let's go back to Bart. Thanks, I've uh, described the ride to Rob Heathcote as bold. Yep. Courageous, Jim, I'll, I'll upgrade you. Yeah, look, um, I've done all the videos on the horse and the horse has got plenty of toe. Um, but it was just one of those races, he was drawn awkward. I thought, um, and I even said to Rob, you know, I'll just be proactive on him. Uh, if I come out and wait and see what's happening, uh, sure enough, they're going to walk. So um, I thought, you know, while they're worrying about what they're doing, uh, you know, who's going to lead and whatnot, I'm going to be on the outside and just do my own thing and just take it up and I'm going to be able to get those easy sections and sure enough, he did. And he sustained that speed. He's, he's sub 1.9. That was a terrific effort. I, I, was, I was actually very surprised. Um, but, you know, I mean, like good horses can do that and, you know, they run you a good time and he's definitely in that category. Does he give you a good feel? Is he a good action horse? I don't know what happened last week. Uh, so I should say his last start. He actually should have won his last start. He, about the 50 out, he, he, he put his foot in a bit of a slippery surface and threw me back in the pad and... Uh, he got nosed out on the line, so look, he should be two for two this time in. Um, he gives you a good feel. He feels like a nice horse, and you know, sure enough, he can run time as well. No doubt he's going to get to the top grade. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Well done. Uh, David, uh, the, the time puts the icing on the cake, but I have a heart in my mouth when he had to do so much work in the first 150 metres. They're, they're quite smart horses inside him. It was a bold ride. But he knew he had the goods, and in the end, he won most decisively. Good effort. Yes, uh, a very good effort, Bart.